The Prophet ﷺ instructed us not to keep our feet too far apart. He ﷺ also instructed us not to keep our feet too close together. Rather, we should keep our feet in a natural shoulder width stance. I intend to pray Maghrib prayer, three rakah, fourth prayer, facing the Qibla, in my house. The intention is from the actions of the heart. Pronouncing it on your tongue is innovation. Touching your ear during the takbir is something the Prophet never did. This is incorrect. The Prophet ﷺ pointed his palms towards the Qibla. The Prophet ﷺ would raise his hands towards the level of his shoulders or the level of his head. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, The people who lift their eyes towards the sky in prayer should avoid it, lest their eyes not return back to them. Your eyes should look on the place of prostration. This is incorrect. Your arms should not grasp your thighs in the rukua. Neither should your arms grasp your shins. The correct position is to grasp your kneecaps with your arms slightly bent. This is incorrect for two reasons. Not only is the back not parallel to the floor, but the eyes are looking at a place other than the place of prostration. The correct way is to keep your back parallel to the floor and your eyes fixed on the place of prostration. This is incorrect because I recited Sami Allahu liman hamida once I was in the upright position. Rather, I should recite it as I'm going up towards the upright position. Sami Allahu liman hamida. The Sami Allahu liman hamida was said between the ruku'ah position and the upright position while going towards the upright position. This is the correct position for your feet in sajda. Your toes should be pointing towards the qibla and your feet should be brought close to each other. The following positions are incorrect feet positions in sujood. The following positions are incorrect feet positions in sujood. The Prophet ﷺ instructed us to prostrate on seven bones, and the two palms are a part of these seven bones. The Prophet ﷺ forbade us from touching our forearms to the floor. Neither the forearm nor the elbow should touch the floor. The Prophet ﷺ would keep his hands at the level of his shoulders or at the level of his head. These two places need to have a gap between them. The only time this position is allowed is if the place you're praying in is packed, such as the masjid, and you don't have enough space. On the other hand, these two angles shouldn't be too large that you are almost about to become flat on the floor. These are some incorrect positions of the feet in Jalsa. This is incorrect. And this is incorrect. And this is also incorrect. The correct position is with your left foot under your body and your right foot upright as seen in the picture, with your toes facing towards the Qibla. This kind of tashahud is not from the Sunnah of the Prophet. Also, moving your finger around in a circle is incorrect. The correct way to move your finger in tashahud is to vibrate your finger up and down, like such. Or, you can also keep your finger still. Bobbing your head while doing taslim is incorrect. Shifting your body away from the qibla during your taslim is incorrect. This way of doing taslim is also incorrect. This is the correct way and timing to do the taslim. You should recite the words as you're turning your head. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Doing dhikr in this form after the salah is a form of bid'ah. There is no evidence to suggest that the Prophet 
did his dhikr in this way.